Yeah. Hi students. I am Dr. Badrinath and in this video we will see the antiprogesterone drugs medicines which works against the progesterone hormone are called as a anti progesterone these are the medicines these are the substances which prepared chemically it is not a hormone okay progesterone is a hormone drugs medicines which works against the progesterone hormones are called as a anti progesterone keep in your mind anti progesterone terminates the pregnancy terminates the pregnancy here two drugs are there keep in your mind one is mifepristone see here mifepristone if you reverse the m it will become a wife wife pristone like that you can remember mife pristone when you don't want the pregnancy your wife can take the mife pristone so that it will be terminated pregnancy will be terminated it is a reverse of the wife and ulips it is a common word in the share market ulip crystal ulips ulips means share market issues okay that point that's why here i indicated with the banned termination of the pregnancy like that and in my old video previous video i have told the progesterone favors the pregnancy i made a separate video and i was uploaded it is you can just watch it progesterone is a hormone it always favors the pregnancy see the symbol pregnancy it favors the pregnancy whereas a anti progesterone these are the medicines since it works the against the progesterone hence it terminates the pregnancy that is a very standard basic points you have to keep in your brain okay this is the syllabus of your uh, pharmacology as per the university your university progesterone the point which i highlighted with the red ink is that current topic today progesterone anti progesterones yeah here you can see this is a mifepristone tablet this mifepristone is uh, see here i have mentioned mifepristone ah uh, yeah here you can see uh, kit of it is available in the kit mifepristone and misoprostol here mifepristone is our thing so unwanted like that whenever pregnancy is unwanted okay in such a case you can take this pill unwanted kit okay with the help of doctors with the help without doctors prescription you should not supposed to be take okay so it is the strip also it is symbolized in the shape of the uterus if you turn this it just like a uterus it looks like that's why it abort it terminates the pregnancy that's why here they mentioned unwanted it is a kit okay and it is a mankind very famous company popular company pharmaceutical company mankind wife pristone not wife pristone it is a just for your memory wife pristone another uh, brands are also available combo packs of the mifepristone tablets here you can see termi pill kit alchem company termi pill this is a pill which terminates the pregnancy termi pill alchem company like that all the names are also like that only here you can see vbart abortion vbart okay victory in the abortion like that names they will give the company names they will put uh, in some link logically link like that mifeprostol is a main drug this mifeprostol 19 nor steroid derivative okay it is a very potent very potent anti progesterone progestational activity that is anti progesterone drug medicine very potent it is also having a significant anti glucuronide activity glucocorticoids you know very well this works against the glucocorticoids not only progesterone glucocorticoids also it works against okay and anti androgenic activity 
androgens it is separate video i made it is already uploaded this drugs also works so that's why this is very important in the examination since it is having a three characters anti progesterone anti glucocorticoid anti adrenogenic activity yeah how this my pristone will acts mechanism of action here you can see that i have shown the this is the uterus you know very well fallopian tubes okay here ovary it releases the ovum here you can see the my pristone see here my pristone first one decidual breakdown decidual what is this decidual how it avoids how it terminates the pregnancy see pregnancy this is a zygote will come and uh, implanted here in the bed this bed is called as a endometrium layer it is a inner layer of the uterus it becomes a thick bed so that uh, the happily uh, the zygote will come and uh, it will be implanted on the bed nicely okay this bed will be breakdown decidual breakdown means here i have mentioned decidual breakdown is equal to breakdown of endometrial cells this is the endometrium layer of the uterus it will be breakdown first one number 2 blastocy whenever it break down blastocyte that is a zygote it will be detached there is no support of endometrial layer so bed is break down so automatically what happen it will be terminated the zygote will not be there and it will be terminated and uh, expulsion of this embryo will be expelled here in this way it comes out and third one it reduces the human choreo uh, that is gonotropic uh, choreo gonotropic hormones okay that is a third one third one fourth one corpus luteum function will be decreased you know very well corpus luteum which is present in the over corpus luteum mainly uh, this is the corpus luteum secretes the progesterone okay so it decreases this leads to decrease in the progesterone level see progesterone i told it is a favors the pregnancy here it decreasing the progesterone concentration just observe logically okay and also it increases the pg prostaglandins will be increased so totally six mechanisms are there okay and my pristone this increased progesty prostaglandins increases the uterine contractility uterine will start contracting so whenever it is contracting like this your uterus automatically zygote will not be stand there see how many mechanisms it is following six ways are there to terminate the pregnancy with the help of only my pristone so here i have shown the uh, progesterone is decreased see progesterone is decreased so if progesterone is decreased what happens see progesterone blockade progesterone is completely blocked what happen so decidual necrosis first one okay i told endometrium necrosis rhythmic uterine contractions cervical ripening okay this called this leads to expulsion of the baby this leads to detachment of the zygote formation this rhythmic uterine contraction will do the both expulsion as well as the detachment both and it finally it leads to the abortion like this see your motile uterine will be contracted like this see all the arrow marks so zygote formed here it will be here you can see the white it will be comes in this way this is the what i have explained same if you want to write in the examination running matter you can write my pristone mechanism of action you take and take a screenshot and same with the help of diagrams you can explain in the diagram next my pristone either it is a anti progesterone or ante which works against the progesterone or progesterone receptor modulator which is either it is that or this okay see partially mash pristone it works against the progesterone but partially it agonists the progesterone that is also action is there that point you have partially very partial few 
see partial agonists and competitive antagonists see antagonists at both progesterone receptor a progesterone receptor b okay it is a weak agonistic activity agonist supports have seen in the absence of the progesterone in the absence of the proge whenever progesterone is not there in the body this partially acts like a progesterone but mainly it works against the progesterone pharmacokinetics <clears throat> it is available active very active orally bioavailability is very less only 25% if you are taking orally 100 mg if you are taking 25 mg only will enter into the blood remaining 75% will be wasted that is called a bioavailability okay distribution 20 to 36 minutes within a half life it will become a half of the dose in our body metabolism by the liver excretion mainly by the bile juices it will be excreted in the bile that is it enters into the intestine from intestine it enters into the fecal matter bile bile juice and enterohepatic circulation that that's why i symbolized here bile ducts you can see this is a oral route active orally that's why i mentioned here orally active and here gallbladder and you can see the bile ducts here see the cursor pointer bile ducts so it enters excreted in the bile and finally it will be excreted through the fecal matter next these are all the uses of the mifepristone okay termination of pregnancy is the first and foremost one main purpose is that only uh, this is the dose cervical ripening what is cervical ripening here you can see first one termination of pregnancy i symbolized here next is cervical ripening here what happened this cervical ripening i will explain you in the next slide i will enlarge this one and i will show cervical ripening post coital contraption see after the sexual intercourse they can take this post coital contraception that's why it is also called as a emergency contraception they don't want pregnancy means immediately the wife has to take the uh, pill so that it shows and also once a month contraceptive it is an induction of the labor pains during the delivery uh, when the delivery is not there contractal uh, uterine contra is not contracting for delivery of a baby in such a case also this will be used because it uh, increases the motility of the uterus no okay and Cushing's syndrome. This is a Cushing's syndrome. This also I will explain in the coming slide. Okay. Cervical ripening. Here you can see opening of the cervix for easy delivery of the baby. This is called a cervical ripening. So during the delivery, this can, you can be used as a positively for delivery of the baby. Whenever there was a zygote formation, you don't want the pregnancy. In such a case, uterine motility will expel the zygote also so termination will be happen okay oh, cervical ripening in the examination they might ask what is cervical ripening opening of the cervix for easy delivery of the baby it can be achieved by the mife pristone this is a post coital after sexual intercourse emergency they can take this uh, pill so that it uh, avoids the zygote zygote will be expelled and it is used in the treatment of Cushing's syndrome. Cushing, just like a cushion. See, that's why I made two cushions, two pillows here. See here, pillows. That's why the name cushion, Cushing's syndrome. You see, the body will become like a cushion. See here, one cushion is there. Here also one cushion. This is a cushion, cushion. Very big cushion is there here. Okay. This is the symptoms of the Cushing's syndrome body will become a cushion okay no bed required directly you can uh, sleep on the wall no problem without bed you can sleep happily they can feel that bed is there in their body own build a body okay so that can be the treated successfully with the help of my pristone next one more only one drug is there that is two drugs totally this is second one uli crystal acetate 5 mg tablets are available see here fibro prist this is a SPRM, Selective Progesterone Receptor Modulator. 
this point you have to keep to your mind this modulates this modify the progesterone receptor so what happen progesterone will not come and bind to the receptor because receptor structure is changed by the ulipristal see that is a mechanism of action also it recently approved emergency contraceptive this is also you can use as a emergency contraceptive mechanism of action inhibits the ovulation by suppressing the luteinizing hormone these are the various mechanism of actions of that direct effect on follicular rupture follicle will be ruptured rupture like anything okay suppression of the luteinizing hormone effect of endo effect of endometrium and disturb the implantation same fashion okay uh, bed will not be bed bed will be breakdown uterus endometrium layer will be breakdown rated equally to levonorgestrel okay levonorgestrel it should be taken within a 3 days from the unprotected sexual intercourse okay even the wife uh, after the sexual intercourse within 3 days she can take this pill to avoid the pregnancy yeah i will end uh, session here in my playlist i have kept all the subjects okay that you can watch it keep in my channels playlist thank you